Behind every child is a mother with a story to tell. You have to show up for your kids in spite of what life throws at you. Juliet became a person with disability as a result of poliomyelitis, which she had as a child. As a mother living with disability, it's not always easy for me to do some of my house duties. Market days like this, that my, my husband always go to look for something and come and then we eat. And I'll be cooking. This one will be crying. The other one will be crying. I have to leave the cooking and attend to them by feeding this one and the other one will also crying. That I should also pick him and then he will also sit on my legs. Meanwhile, your mother too cannot walk. Why but I can carry the two of you like that, like the other woman? So I'm, I'm just bleeding. At 34 years, the graduate of the Tamale Polytechnic is unemployed with two children. Her husband is also unemployed. This makes taking care of the home and her children difficult. Because I'm disabled, I have to sit in the house with the kids. Yeah, and then the, the kids too are just small. My legs that I can't walk doesn't mean that I can't use my hands and do something small for my living. She's had to battle stigma and prejudice from society for having children just because of her condition. Sometimes you just want to associate yourself with people they will, because you are not, because I'm not like them, they don't always want to come near to me. And some, some people cry, they will just see you and then they will look down upon you because you can't walk or some of them will just move away, leaving you alone. And even sometimes if they are doing some work, which is a group work, and you want to associate yourself with them, they will just, the way they will just talk to you, you yourself will feel pity that you have to go back and sit in the house. Despite these challenges, she's decided to put the disability aside and just be a mom. That takes blood, sweats and tears, as well as a silent vow to show up for her kids in sickness and in health, whether her living condition improves or not. And until her last breath, she had a message for all mothers. You have to give thanks to God and then those that are giving birth to, you have to take your children seriously as a mother. And to my disabled people, even if they are looking down upon you, just give your life to Christ and know that with him all things are possible. Porsche Gabo TV3 News.